Hi there. Welcome to this math strategy video. We're going to show you how to solve some different problems. Today, we're going to look at solving addition problems with decimals by using place value. We're going to try three problems. 2.3 plus 1.9, 3.54 plus 1.8, and if you're really brave, 3.88 plus 5.632. We'll use some different materials today to learn how to do this. We have place value cubes that come in ones, tens, and hundreds, but we're going to use them in a slightly different way. We're also going to use a number line. Let's take a look at the first problem. For this problem, I'm going to use the place value cubes for 10, and I'm going to have them represent 1 and the place value cubes for 1 to represent 1 tenth. So to make 2.3, I have 2 whole sticks and 3 tenths. And to make 1, I have 1 stick and 9 tenths. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add the tenths first, as long as I don't make them go all over the place. So that is going to be, and I'll write down over here, 0 0.3, so 3 tenths plus 9 tenths, and that equals 12 tenths. But that is not the right way to, to, to write it. When you have 10 tenths, you effectively change those 10 there for one of these. So it's actually 1 and 2 tenths. So then I've got my other three there, so my two and my one. So I've got three plus 1.2, and that is 4.2. Another way that I can do this is if I make a number line. I start my number line at 2.3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 3.0, So I'm going to go up by 9 tenths first. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So there, and that's 0 0.9. And I'm going to go up one whole more. So it's on 3.2, so it's going to go to 4.2, just like there. When a lot of people look at this question, they think it's really easy. They think, oh, 54 plus 8 is 62, and 3 plus 1 is 4, so it's 4.62. But that is not correct. This number here actually could also be written like this, 1.80, because 8, that is 8 tenths, not 8 hundredths. 54 is 54 hundredths. There's actually 5 tenths and 4 hundredths there. So in the next bit, I'm going to show you how to use materials to solve this question properly. For this problem, I'm going to need to be a bit creative. Instead of using my tens pieces as one, I'm going to use the hundred squares as one. So to make 3.54, it's 1, 2, 3. And then 5 tenths, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and we need 4 hundredths. So 1, 2, 3, 4 hundredths. I'm going to put those off to the side, and for my 1.8, we've got 1, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. A little bit hard to see in the small screen, but I guess we can make do. First, we're going to add up the smallest number, so that is the hundredths. So I've got, in the first question, we've got, I'll put an arrow there so it's not equals, 0 0.04, so that's four hundredths, plus, and there are no hundredths there. Okay, so my answer for that is 0 0.04 hundredths. The next thing is we're going to add up the tenths, so five tenths and eight tenths. And you can do that in your head. It's 13 tenths. And that would mean 0 0.5 plus 0 0.8 equals 
The next thing we will do is add the 3 and the 1. 3 plus 1 equals 4. Adding all of that up, I think I've got some room on the bottom. Sorry, 4 plus 1.3 plus 0 0.04. And that is 5.34. This last question may look really difficult, but it's actually pretty simple if you break it down by place value. We start at the smallest place value, and that is thousands. So the first number has three ones, eight tenths, eight hundredths, and no thousandths. The second number has five ones, six tenths, three hundredths, and two thousandths. So we're going to do 0 0.00 thousandths plus 0 0.002 and that equals 0 0.002 then we take our 8 tenths and our 3 tenths 8 sorry hundredths and that equals 11 hundredths then we're going to take our 8 tenths plus 6 tenths and that equals 14 tenths, so that is 1.4. Then we do 3 plus 5 equals 8. We're going to add these all together. Now there's no other thousandths. We've got 1 hundredths, 1 plus 4 tenths, and 1 plus 8, which is 9. So the answer is 9.512, or 9 and 512 thousandths. I hope that helped. If there's anything that you didn't understand or that went by too fast, go back to the stat section and watch it again. When I'm finished talking, I'm going to put some questions up on the screen for you to try. Pause the video when they come up, work on them, and then when you think you've got the answers, press unpause and you can check what they are because they're going to come back up on the screen. That's all for today. Hope to see you again sometime soon.